How's it going everyone? It's me Noah here and welcome back to another video showcasing everything that I got at Brick Fair Virginia 2019. This past weekend has been very eventful and a lot of things have happened and I have a couple of videos coming out here in the next couple of days all about Brick Fair Virginia. So be sure to stay tuned and don't forget to of course leave a like on this video. Comment below what you think of all the cool stuff that I got. What is your favorite item out of this whole lot that I got? So I'm gonna go ahead and start off here on the left side because it's a pretty interesting amount of stuff here that I got from Blaine, from Blaine's World, and I got a couple of pieces as well as from other vendors. I got these uh, palm leaf pieces from a vendor or someone that I know there at the convention. And then over here you can see a bunch of different pieces that I got from vendors as well as a majority of them from Blaine. Blaine was selling parts there at Brick Fair Virginia, so there were a couple of things that were really cool to be picked up. I got some of these bright green 2x6 bricks right here. If you look right here below these dark red bricks, you can see a couple of door frames in tan, and uh, I don't know how many there are entirely, but I thought they were pretty cool. I thought they were interesting. I don't know what entirely want to use them for either but I think they're gonna be cool for something in the future. Some other basic bricks I got here from Brick Fair themselves in the goodie bag were these one by two bricks in coral, as well as some other bricks such as these sand green ones, these archways, these dark red bricks of course that are lying in between, as well as these larger tiles that are from the uh, pop-up book. As I zoom up here, you can see a bunch of different sets that are in the background. They all have a kind of explanation of how I got them, as well as this really interesting one right here, this Technic set in the middle. So of course, starting right here, we've got a bunch of the clone battle packs on the left and right side. I've got eight of them right here, or four of them right there, as well as four more of them for a total of eight battle packs. And uh, I, got, I got those, of course, mainly for the phase one clone troopers, Aragog's lair set, as well as this really cool Hobbit set, which is the Witch King battle. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, and then right below that, got the Council of Elrond from Lord of the Rings. All of these sets are, of course, sealed and r brand new, so those will be added to my collection of sealed sets from Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Not sure entirely if I want to open this one yet, but I got it for a pretty good deal while shopping around at Walmart with a couple of my friends. Now, back to this Technic set that is right here. I got this as a prize, actually, from the Empire Lug display. Uh, a couple of my mocks were over there, and one of them won a prize for people that were randomly selected to give out uh, the prizes for what mock they thought was the coolest. And Meredith, if you guys know her from Solid Studios, or David's girlfriend, uh, selected my mosaic as her favorite mock. So I wanna give a special thanks to Meredith, of course, for choosing my build. I even got her to sign it right here in the corner. So thank you very much. I'm gonna have this sealed at my house. Down below that, I've got this Overwatch set, which is kind of mixed in with a couple of pieces and things that are in there, such as this Tron minifigure that uh, Simon Liu made for me uh, because I participated in the Grid Wars competition, as well as basically the random pieces that I used to uh, basically participate in the Building on a Budget series that you can find on Ryan or MNR Productions YouTube channel. Now moving to the bulk right here of minifigures that are spread out basically here in the middle part of the table, I've got a bunch of Lord of the Rings minifigures, some of which we can see right here in the back. I've got a bunch of these from my friend Elijah or Peach Bricks, who is also in Rebel Lug. He made a trade with me for a bunch of these Lord of the Rings minifigures in trade for a bunch of parts that I brought to sell and trade. Thank you again for trading that, Elijah. I'm gonna be putting those to a lot of good use, especially the Ghost uh, or Soldiers of the Dead Ghost Soldiers uh, there in the back. I got right here, of course, a couple of Star Wars minifigures because why not? And I was able to get a couple of good deals, such as a couple of Phase 1 and Phase 2 clones that I, of course, love and will be adding to the bulk army that I have at home. Up here in the front, we've got a bunch of Spartans, most of which I got from my friend Simon Liu, who uh, ended up trading basically a couple of these or a bunch of these Spartan minifigures for the uh, Rat King gun that I had bought from Bryce or Brick Built Replicas last year and we ended up doing a trade so that it is then returned to a pretty good owner and it'll be on tour possibly in Canada so be sure to look out for that gun or mock as well. Moving over here we've got some more Lord of the Rings minifigures. We've got these orcs right here, the Gundabad orcs that are from The Hobbit 
I ended up getting these from a vendor for a really good price. There's about 50 of them right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for entirely yet, but they're pretty good. And I really like the figures themselves. The prints on them are really nice. And uh, now I've got a bulk army of them. In the back here, we can see this white case right here with some glass showing the minifigures or contents that are inside. I got this case and the figures from my friend Caleb Wagner, who's also in Rubble Egg. He ended up selling me this case for a really good price, and I got some cool minifigures that I do not have in my collection yet. So I'm glad to have added those. And thanks again, Caleb, for the amazing deal on these minifigures. Moving over here, we've got the 501st ATRT set from 2013, complete with all the minifigures that I got for an astonishing $10 there at Brick Fair. So I'm pretty happy to get that. And of course, the 501st Clone Trooper will be added to my collection of ongoing or growing 501st Troopers in my army. Got a couple of miscellaneous minifigures right there, as well as right here, the contents of one Pigover Cup, which are these leaf pieces that are uh, that I had gotten from my friend Jason over at Charm City Lugs. So thank you again for picking those up for me. Uh, now I've got a abundance of those and will hopefully at some point be using those in a mock or something in the future. Over here we got a bunch of custom minifigures starting right here. These uh, clone cadet minifigures that I got from Timmy or Republic Bricks. I got a couple of uh, figures here from Andrew or AV figures. Uh, these really cool realistic episode 3 501st clones will be used at some point in some vignettes. Hopefully I can get some more of those as well. And the Scarif Trooper right here, which is fully decaled and which is quite a detailed figure. I'm trying to zoom in as best as I can, but man, it is quite impressive. Right to the left of that, we've got some older styled or some classic style uh, 501st uh, clone troopers from DK Collectibles. Basically, he takes the older Phase 2 clone troopers and does prints on those. And the design for these guys is just amazing. I'm going to be using those in some upcoming projects as well. Uh, I really like these and really been wanting to get a bunch of them uh, here's, here in the past couple of weeks. And finally got a good four of those. I think those will set me right for the next couple of builds that I decide to use them in. Right here we've got some miscellaneous pieces as well as some grass stalks that are in uh, the dark brown color. So those are pretty cool. And then lastly right over here I've got these snow troopers from the first order as well. Uh, I got five of those for a pretty good price. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I think they're pretty cool and might be might come in handy for the next film if they ever use those. Last thing I forgot to mention, which was over here in the corner, is I got this Brick Fair mug, and I thought the design was pretty cool on it, and I forgot to show that right here, but I got that as well, and we'll probably be using that at home. So that does it basically, guys, for the whole lot of awesome stuff. Let me know what you guys thought about my haul this year. It's not as impressive with all the... Uh, clone troopers that I got last year but I think the Lord of the Rings collection has significantly grown since last year so do let me know what you guys think drop a comment down below leave a like and don't forget to of course check out the next couple of videos I'll be uploading around or about Brick Fair Virginia and yeah thank you guys so much for watching guys and as always I'll see you guys in the next Lego Star Wars video